Good evening. Welcome to Washington. I'm Brett Baer. Tensions may be high here in D.C., but the very public spat between the president and his former chief strategist over a new explosive book are certainly not hurting the markets, as the Dow has another record day on Wall Street, closing above the 25,000 mark for the first time ever, a full 37 percent higher since President Trump was elected. The S&P 500 was up 11 today. The Nasdaq grew 13. Again, both record highs. Fox Business Network's Deirdre Bolton joins us now with a look at what's driving these markets. Good evening, Deirdre. Good evening, Brett. Well, the best headline I saw today came from Drudge on Twitter, and it said, Bull beats Wolf. So a reference to the stock market's bulls or optimists outshining some of the upset caused by journalist Michael Wolf and his book, Fire and Fury. So excerpts of the book, they've been released. They have cast an unfavorable light on the Trump administration. But stock market investors, they shrugged all that turmoil off, and the Dow jumped past 25,000 for the first time ever, marked as well the fastest 1,000-point gain in the average's history. So financial stocks at tech stocks, they were biggest parts of momentum. You can see Goldman, American Express, J.P. Morgan, Amazon owner of Google, Alphabet, and Apple. So the big question is whether or not these gains can continue. So market optimists, they say lower corporate taxes are going to help all of these companies, especially ones with lots of cash overseas. The tech giants in particular, they're going to be able to repatriate money at a one-time low rate of 15.5%. And then in the future, they're not going to pay taxes on revenue earned overseas. So these rules basically put U.S. corporations in line with most other industrialized nations, that is, in terms of this overseas revenue treatment. Also, job market looks pretty strong. Another reason for optimism in the markets, we're going to get a new report out tomorrow. An economist that we surveyed say that payrolls probably grew last month, 190,000 workers with even fewer layoffs than previous months. So a lot of reasons for optimism. Brett, back to you. Hard to believe. Deirdre, thank you.